What's up guys? Uh, Kevin here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my Ise Miyake Omplisse pants that I recently got. Shout out, first off, before I start, shout out to my friend Dean. Dean hooked it up. He recently um, had a trip to Japan and he just of the spur of the moment, out of nowhere, he asked me if I wanted like a proxy for the pants and he just so graciously offered that and I definitely took him up on his opportunity. So definitely his Instagram, I'll be putting it somewhere over here. Amazing guy, chef's kiss, um, his fits, A1, his personality, A1. So give him a quick follow. Shout out to you, Dean. Oop, gotta silence that. So I know um, a few people have already done videos about the Ise Miyake Um People such as my friend Ray, uh, friend Ken, a few other people I know. I'm pretty sure like the homie Sanj also did um, like a small video or talked about them in, um, in previous pickup videos. So I just wanted to take um, my take. I will be leaving the style code somewhere over here because for the Isamiyaki pants, there aren't necessarily like certain names, like some of them fit differently even though they are like, you know, either slim or cropped or wide or etc. But I'll be putting the exact style code um, both on the screen as well as in the description down below. As well as I'll put links to where you can potentially find these. Um, the pair that I have is like a, like a gray wool-ish pair that they released when he was there about a month ago or so. Probably about a month ago, yeah. Like they launched probably the day before he went or maybe the day of and then he ended up picking it up. Um, but yeah, it's more of like a regular fit, I would say. More of a regular fit, slightly cropped. But the interesting thing about these pants is that you can have them be slightly cropped by wearing them higher or lower depending on um, your preference. My waist is a 30 to a 31. I wear a belt with mine, um, mainly because I like a little bit more of like a slimmer waist, I should say, or at least like a snug waist. Um, I am about five foot eight, five foot nine ish. Um, and then all of the fits that you're gonna see are essentially how they fit on my body. So I'm gonna be putting them on with a few different outfits, um, a few different footwear, etc. but First off, talking about the pants themselves, extremely, extremely comfy. These are probably just as comfy as the Uniqlo Dry X that I have, um, which is a very soft nylon pair of pants that I've had for quite a few years now. Um, but this is pretty much as comfortable, maybe even slightly more comfortable um, than the Uniqlo ones, as well as the fit of this is quite nice because of the fact that it is a bit flowy. I think this looks amazing in motion, in my personal opinion. While walking, while moving about, I think it looks the best. Um, mainly because I think the police detailing really does kind of come through in movement. Um, I think it looks fantastic. A lot of different uh, footwear options you can wear with this, whether it be um, high tops like an Air Jordan 1, um, or Converse, um, as well as like thicker silhouettes. I'm sure a Yeezy 700 would look great with this, uh, just as good as maybe um, a Reebok Club C, which that also looks fantastic as well. So there's just so much that these pair of pants can like lend themselves to, as well as the different options um, of the way that you can wear them. I usually wear them slightly cropped or slightly higher because I wear low tops most of the time, but I'm sure whenever I wear my Air Jordans, I can wear them a little bit lower so that it stacks over the top of it. So for reference, I got a size one, by the way. Um, again, like I said, I'm five foot eight, five foot nine-ish. Um, I will try and leave all of the measurements of the actual pants themselves in the description down below. Um, but my pair of pants will only, or my size measurements, I should say, will only um, be in relation to, I guess, um, this specific model. So the first look that I think this would look very good with is sort of like a mixture between formal and casual wear. So I paired these guys up with a pair of Uniqlo Aerovism T, as well as a pair of just loafers that I have. So the black loafers, you can definitely, mine are a little bit more formal, so I have a bit more of like a formal footwear option while having the Isamiyake Omplisse as the pants. 
as well as having a little bit more casual of an upper top. You can even pair this up with either a hoodie or you can wear like a thicker jacket with it. I think all of that kind of leans itself very well. Um, I personally like the contrast of proportions. So the loafer will look a little bit more professional and slim. Um, while it gets a little bit baggier with the pants and then maybe on the top it's a little bit more relaxed. So I think that contrast really works very well. Um, plus, I think it just looks very, very clean. So the second way that I'd wear this is pretty much going full casual, where I would usually be wearing some sort of uh, chunkier sneaker um, in the footwear section, um, as well as just the semi-aki en plissé, and potentially something like a crew neck, a uh, sweater or a hoodie sweatshirt. Um, for that, it kind of lends itself more to like a casual, like, hey, I'm getting coffee or I'm just hanging out with friends, like nothing too formal necessarily. It's um, quite a relaxed silhouette, relaxed fit. And I think the shoes themselves, uh, because of the fact that I do like myself a chunkier uh, dad shoe or maybe like a retro dad shoe or, or maybe a retro running shoe, uh, all of that sort of leans itself very well to that sort of silhouette. And for the last outfit, I would say I would pair these guys up with my Air Jordan 1 highs. Um, preferably this fit is going to be as it gets warmer and warmer because I'm pretty much just going to fit this with one splash of color in the footwear section and just kind of like a simple top. Whether or not I layer that on top with maybe a rayon tee or a rayon shirt I should say. So I'm probably just going to be wearing a t-shirt. Um, I was thinking maybe light gray or a gray t-shirt or a black t-shirt with sort of like a shirt on top. Uh, the shirt that I'm talking about is the Uniqlo U shirt from a few years ago that I bought in a larger size, but I feel like it works very well. It's almost like a shirt um, jacket type of thing. I think the pattern looks super, super cool. Um, as well as the material feels amazing. I believe it's 100% rayon. Uh, so it's, it's, I think it's a very nice summer fit, summer, spring, summer fit. Um, it's still a little bit cold right now, but this is what I definitely see uh, wearing my Isemiyake Omplisse during the warmer months. So those are the fits. I'm gonna be trying on a bunch of different uh, footwear. Um, so I know this might be corny for some of you guys, but this is just how it looks uh, with a variety of different footwear in case you're curious, especially the leg opening area. Um, you guys can definitely see like kind of um, how it works with an outfit.
read about this or hear this, that you used to go up on Mulholland Drive and park. Yeah, every night. And visualize seeing yourself as... Yeah, I would visualize... Uh, yeah, I would this visualize... This is when you were broke and poor. You know, right, having directors interested in me and people that I respected uh, um, saying, you know, I like your work or mm -hmm. whatever that is. And, and uh, I would visualize things coming to me that I wanted or whatever. Drive home and think, well, I do have these things. Uh, they're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, and I gave myself uh, five years, or three years, maybe. And, uh, and uh, I dated it Thanksgiving 1995, just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was going to make $10 million dollars and dollars and dollars. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully it was helpful. I really, really like the Omplice pants. I would only be a little bit weary about uh, the prices that you're going to be paying because I believe Dean only charged me about 200 or so, which is about retail in Japan, while um, places like Essence and the U.S. retailers, they mark them up almost double. Um, I know during the Essence sale there was one or two pairs that got really, really close to that retail price in Japan. Uh, but I'm sure importing it into the U.S. isn't cheap either. So definitely see if you can get it secondhand, uh, find a proxy in Japan, or um, get it on sale. So yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, follow me on Instagram at kevin.img. Uh, I post a little bit more frequently there. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you guys later. Peace.